Okay, this is the Cobra fighter jet. It's a simple jet. Um, you can use uh, thick paper like 100 GSM. Usually about half the size of that's good. It's about six or seven inches will we'll work for this model. Uh, as you can see it has uh, two thrusters reinforced uh, leading edge of the wings and it has a pretty reinforced nose. It's pretty uh, it's a pretty good little jet. It flies really good as you can see in the video. Um, and I used uh, some waterproof paper so I took a sheet of foil paper and then I sprayed spray adhesive on the white side and I put some cellophane on that and uh, that's what I was flying out in the snow and it, you know it didn't bother it at all so that's what I was using for that. That's what I use when I want to fly airplanes in the snow which I don't do that often. So let's get to it. Okay what I did was I had taken a sheet of A4 and printed on it. Depending on your printer uh, if you want to print out a camouflage design with no white edges, you uh, select borderless printing. I don't really know. Uh, that might be different for you know everyone else's printers, but for mine, it's a borderless printing, so that way I don't have the white edges on there. So, what you want to do for this model is you can just fold this in half and then cut a cut a two squares, and that would be big enough. Okay, this is just uh, the lengthwise half of the A4 sheet of paper I showed you. So you just cut it in half and you can use that. But, uh, the paper I used was 100 GSM, so you could use thicker paper for this model because it's simple. So you just fold it in half diagonal here. So, <clears throat> and inside you notice this bottom edge. So what you want to do is fold this down using that inner edge. 
you can fold the tip to those two creases there. So using that, you're going to fold a line from here to here, but be careful not to tear this corner. Especially with the thicker papers it wants to tear. So don't crease it all the way just yet. You want to get in there and try to get this to a point, which is kind of difficult sometimes without tearing that corner. Kind of have to do that. careful of that corner try to match everything up everything nice and tight. <clears throat> what you want to do now is pull this out <clears throat> and kind of slide along until it meets this intersection right here. Just like that. So you can just kind of pop this out a little bit. Makes it a little cleaner. And do the same with this wing. This model isn't that difficult at all, but it's really not for beginners or just your traditional paper airplane folder. Fold this out. And this obviously uh, reinforces the wing. the wings in. Fold this back over. <coughs> Just jet fold along the creases that you made They're already there sometimes you have to slide the wing up there just like that
it's more of a judgment fold than anything. But if you notice, there's a very light, light crease right there. I always like to fold the tail fin up to where it meets that. But at the same time, you kind of want it to be parallel. But like I said, it's just more of a judgment fold than anything. Like that should be good. I'll just fold that over just to get that that right there. So what I will do is fold this in the thirds using that little point you made and fold it into the fuselage. Just kind of uh, roll this in. Fold the wings out and just kind of uh, give the thrusters here a nice little shape. And bend the uh, back of the wings up and open the tail fin out a little bit. And there you go. Completed Cobra.